Welcome back to The Real Deal, and today we're gonna to discuss what you can do right now to prepare for home ownership. As rent prices continue to soar, many renters want to know what they can do to get ready to buy their first home. According to recent data from apartmentlist.com, quote, the first half of 2021 has seen the fastest growth in rent prices since the start of our estimates in 2017. Our national rent index has increased by 11.4% since January. Those rise in rental costs may make it seem impossible to prepare for home ownership if you're a renter. There are ways you can and should prepare to purchase your first home. Here's some expert advice on what to do if you're ready to learn more about how to escape rising rents. Start saving even small amounts now. Experts agree setting aside what you can, even smaller amounts of money, into a dedicated savings account is a great starting point when it comes to saving for a down payment. As Cindy Zaniga Sanchez, founder of Zero Base Budget Coaching LLC says, quote, I recommend saving for a home in a sinking fund. This is a savings account separate from your emergency fund that you use to save for a short or mid-term expense. Zaniga Sanchez adds, saving in small increments can help make a large goal, such as saving for a down payment, achievable. Quote, breaking up your goals into smaller bite-sized pieces by saving incrementally can make a large, daunting number more manageable. Assess your finances and work on your credit. Another tip experts recommend, take a look at your overall finances and credit score to find ways to reduce your debt. According to the Housing of Urban Development, the average credit score of first time home buyers is 716. If you're not sure what your credit score is, there are numerous online tools that can help you check. If your score is below that average, don't fret. Remember that an average means there are homeowners with credit scores both above and below that threshold. If you find out your score is below the average, there are several ways to improve your credit before you apply for a loan. HUD recommends reducing your debt as much as you can, paying your bills on time and using your credit card responsibly. Start the conversation with your advisor today. Finally, it's important to talk to someone who understands the market and what it takes to become a first time home buyer. That's where we come in. A trusted advisor can help you navigate your specific market and talk to you through all the available options. Having the right network of real estate and lending professionals in your corner can help you plan for the home buying process as well as determine what you can afford and how you can get pre-approved when you're ready. Most importantly, we can help you understand how home ownership is achievable. As Lauren Bringle, accredited financial advisor with Self Financial says, quote, don't write home buying ownership off just because you have a low income. With the right tools, resources and assistance, you could still achieve your dream. Ladies and gents, let's jump to the bottom line. If you're planning to be a homeowner one day, the best thing you can do is start preparing now. Even if you don't think you'll purchase for a few years, let's connect today and discuss the process to set you up for success on your journey to home ownership. That's all we've got time for in this episode of The Real Deal. So as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It'll mean the world to me, and we'll see you next week.